Right, some huge breaking news now. Carve Solical joins me on set. So, Carve, did Chelsea get their man? Yes, they have. Uh, it has been uh, officially confirmed now. We told you uh, about this at 10 o'clock. Mm. Uh, Benfica are confirming it on their website. Enzo Fernandez has been removed from Benfica's website. He's no longer a Benfica player. Okay. He will be flying uh, tomorrow morning uh, at 10.20, private jet from Lisbon uh, to London, where we will obviously see him do his uh, interviews and pose in a Chelsea shirt. Now, we've got some more information about the actual deal. There was a lot of talk about whether Chelsea would pay more than the release clause or less than the release clause. They are actually paying €121 million. Euros. OK. We thought the release clause was €120 million. Euros. It's actually €121 million, euros, which is what Chelsea are paying, uh, which is just under €107 million. Pounds. So it is a British record transfer, uh, more than Manchester City paid Aston Villa for Jack Grealish. They will also be paying it in instalments. We've been talking about instalments mm. for weeks and weeks now. They are going to be paying in six instalments, and the first instalment is £30 million. Uh, the player also, wait for this, will be signing a contract until the summer of 2031. Yeah. So that eight is, and a half year deal, is that, that right? That is an eight That's and a half remarkable. year deal, uh, which means that because of this loophole, uh, Chelsea can spread the cost of his transfer over eight and a half uh, years. And we're also being told that the negotiations were led uh, by the Chelsea co-owner Behdad Ekbali okay. uh, from London. Uh, the talks lasted for about 12 hours today and Chelsea were absolutely focused on getting Enzo Fernandez. The player himself wants to become a Chelsea player, so much so that he's agreed to sign uh, a contract until the summer of 2031. Let's not forget, this is a player, he was the young player of the World Cup in Qatar, fantastic yeah. young player. But a matter of six, seven months ago, uh, he was playing in Argentina for River Plate. Uh, River Plate sold him to Benfica for around £10 million. So his value in a matter of six months has gone up from £10 million to uh, £107 million, which is what Chelsea have played. Also good news for River Plate, uh, because we're led to believe that they have a 25% sell-on clause. So I think they will be making around £20 million from the deal as well. But it just goes to show how much Chelsea wanted Enzo mm. Fernandez and how much Benfica wanted to keep him that it went right to the wire. I was told that the final agreement uh, came at 9.15 p.m., so one hour, 45 minutes uh, before the deadline. Goodness me. I mean, in terms of the fact that he is, or was, certainly a great player on show, wasn't he? Most touches of any player in the World Cup final. You know, he had a tremendous... He came on as a sub initially, didn't he? And then he started to play every minute of all the knockout stages for them. You know, they really are banking on this player, certainly. But do you think this is why this took kind of so long tonight? It was in, because of the money involved? What do you think? I, I, think, I think the reason it's taken so long is... Uh, Chelsea tried to sign him at the start of the window. Yeah. At the start of the window, he made it clear to Benfica that he wanted to move to Chelsea. Uh, ben Benfica know they've got a very, very special player on their hands. And when they signed him to this contract and gave him a 120 million uh, release clause last summer, he was not a world superstar. No. Uh, a lot of people would not have heard of him. So once he went to the World Cup, once he became the young player uh, of that tournament, Benfica knew that they had an absolute superstar on their hands and they did not want to lose him. And they didn't want to lose him in this window because they knew that the longer they keep hold of him, the more likely it was that clubs like Real Madrid would try to sign him. PSG would try to sign him as well, which is why it was so clever of Chelsea to try and do this deal in this window. Mm. They stole a march on all their rivals. They knew that the best chance of getting him was now because if they left it until the summer where other midfield players are going to probably become available as well, like Jude Bellingham, maybe Declan Rice uh, as well, then I think it would get messy because lots of uh, other big clubs would have tried to sign him. Uh, so it just depends. Is the real Enzo Fernandez the player we saw at the World Cup, mm. the way he played for Argentina? Can he carry on 
uh, playing in that way for Chelsea as well. If he can, uh, then Chelsea will feel that, I, I, I can't say it's a good deal, that kind of money, mm. but they will feel that for the, his age and the length of time he's going to stay uh, at Chelsea, uh, they will believe it's a good deal.